Instead of being on their phones, they would have to talk to each other. People, get <laughs> off your phones. <laughs> They're on their, probably on their phones watching this right now. True. Hashtag bring the 80s back. Yes. <laughs> Hi, I'm Hannah. And I'm Fiona. And today, to celebrate the release of Prime Video's Paper Girls, we are going to be designing our very own fan posters inspired by iconic scenes in the show. And we'll see which one you guys will prefer. Let's do it. I'm going to be drawing all of the four main cast mm -hmm. and then I'm going to put the skyline which turns purple when they time travel at the bottom. Ah, yes, beautiful. Your style is so different to mine. <laughs> it is, Mine's it is. Mine's so like realistic because I have never been able to really like <gasps> draw without looking at a reference. I've always gravitated more towards comics mm -hmm. so uh, I was reading a little bit of the Paper Girls comics as well and I really yeah, love the, so like, cool. the comic style, the black and white and yeah. those kind of simple colours. What do you think is the most important part of your drawing style? Trying to have the little subtleties which express mm. the character because it's much yeah. more simplified. Yeah. So you have risk everyone looking the same, right? The reason that I draw so similarly to photos is because I want to accurately portray the kind of person that they are. Yeah. I feel like it's a lot harder to capture somebody without doing it photo perfect. The girls, all four of them, they're on the push bikes and delivering papers. It's like, it's so nice to see a bunch of friends just riding around together and doing stuff together. Yeah. And instead of being on their phones, they would have to talk to each other. People, <laughs> get off your phones. <laughs> They're on their, probably on their phones watching this right now. True. Hashtag bring the 80s back. Yes. <laughs> so currently, I am up to the detailing now of all the faces, and I am adding all the highlights, details, everything like that. I work on the eyes and the skin tone first, mm. and then I'll work on the clothing and the atmosphere, and then add our little neon sign. What are you doing? Oh, so for me, because I'm having a more of a comic kind of approach. Yeah. So right now, I'm just touching up on the line work for the four girls there. Mm -hmm. And then I have a bit of a draft color, so that's more that like purplish yes. kind of tone. It's such a modern series, yet it's going back in time to delve back into the older themes. You get to see the characters in like, they're still the 80s mindset. Just get exposed yeah. to all of these like modern things. Like and culture it's so shock. Weird. <laughs> yes, and it's so weird to them. What would you say if you met your future self? Uh, even thinking back, if I were to say I would be doing things I do today, I think my, my kid self would be so mind blown. <laughs> mind blown, yes. And that's why I like keeping my old drawings as well, to keep a record to see how yes. art change and how what I like back then and what you like in the future, right? Flick of a wrist here, little flick of a wrist there. I am so close to being finished. Here we go, we're starting together. Yeah. Oh my gosh, I've got streamline turned up way too high. Ooh. Okay, drum roll for the final reveal. Yeah. And go. Woo! I love the neon pink. It's so <laughs> that's such a movie. Yours mine. is so purple and pastel and nice. Very different approaches, huh? I know. Look at your characters. Oh no, Amazing. look at your characters. The realism. <laughs> <laughs> Paper Girls is now streaming on Prime Video. And comment below which one is your favourite. Yeah, it could be both. <laughs>